Yo, what is good YouTube? What is good Giants fans? It is your boy Ty Life back with another video and happy Victory Monday to all you Giants fans out there. It has been a long time since we can say that we've started 2-0. Six years. It's been six years since the Giants started 2-0, and in between that time, it's been us just expecting losses every week. And usually, by this time, we're frustrated. Season at this point, usually in the year, our season's over in about two weeks, and it feels good. We're one of only four teams before tonight's games that are still 2-0 in the league, and that is insane to think about. When it's a year we're thinking we're going to re be rebuilding, a year we're really punting on. I mean, we're we're saying that before the season started, but. We're looking, we're right now, we're first place in the NFC East. We'll see what happens with the Eagles tonight, hoping they lose. It, it is gonna be, it's a, so far it's been a good time. I just, it just feels so much better knowing the Giants are winning football games now. I'm actually going to the Cowboys game next Monday night, and based on what I saw from the game this past weekend, the stadium should be popping. The atmosphere should be amazing. It should be electric in there. And I'm so excited to watch these Giants live again this year. Now, we beat the Panthers this past weekend. Uh, not not in the prettiest of fashions. Offense was struggling at times, but we got the job done. Graham Gano, MVP of the game. Wink Martindale called a hell of a game on the defensive side of the ball. Without still without our two top pass rushers, uh, Kayvon Thibodeau and Aziz Ojolari, we're still able to contain Christian McCaffrey for the most part. I know he still had over 100 yards, um, but a lot of that was on that one long run he had in the second half. But for the most part, we kept him in check. Baker Mayfield completed less than 50% of his passes, only 145 passing yards. And I mean, granted, a lot of those, there was a lot of drop passes I saw in that game on the offensive side from the Panthers, but still give credit to the defense. They played well. Dane Belton getting his first action on the Giants and his first play, he gets a fumble recovery. That is what I, you got to love that for the guy. You got to love it for the guy after he hurt his collarbone earlier in the, in the offseason or in the preseason. You just love it. This team has been overachieving, tough wins, uh, point differential about four points these past two weeks, but you gotta love that they keep grinding out these wins, and I hope this continues next week against the Cowboys. Now, again, offense, not a pretty day from the offense. Daniel Jones didn't look the best. Again, he had a game-winning drive. Uh, he had that one drive in the third quarter where they actually scored their only touchdown in the game, but I, a lot to still be concerned about with Daniel Jones. You hope he bounces back throughout the season, but the more we look at it, the more it seems like he won't be back um, next year for the Giants, despite how well this team does. It just doesn't seem like he's going to be the main reason why we win games. It's more so that we need an effort from the defense. We need a solid ground game. Um, we need other players to step up. Daniel Jones, I mean, he, he was fine. Took three sacks. Still scored a touchdown, like I said. Uh, just a lot of attempts for, uh, you know, only a five, about a five-yard average per attempt. So, Again, not what you want to see. Hopefully, he bounces back. But he did have the game ceiling run to really put the game out of reach for the Panthers. So, shout out to Daniel Jones. Still got us a W. Awesome. Saquon Barkley, again, you can't go for 190 scrimmage yards every week. But he was able to still grind out tough yards on the ground. And even when it did not seem like he was going to have a good game in the first half, he, they still ran him 21 times. He ended up with 72 yards. But those are tough yards to get. It still kept the defense honest. And that's with a stacked box. They had eight people in the box nearly all game. And Saquon was still able to get some yards and have a few nice runs. So you love it. And I love how Brian Dayball still is sticking with the run still a lot to be desired in the pass protection for the offensive line again they're still trying to gel i get it there's still a lot of new pieces coming to the line today i was a little bit disappointed with john feliciano again that was the acquisition i was kind of hyped for on the old line but he didn't seem to have that uh you know such a good game this past weekend but again they're still gelling together but the big story of the game was that kenny galladay had only one or two snaps that's kind of insane when you think about the guy that was the biggest wide receiver acquisition last offseason um he's the biggest cap hit of any wide receiver in the league and this is a guy that gets two snaps and david sills is starting over him which is crazy to think about david sills and it's when you think about kenny Galladay, this is the guy we thought was gonna be the number one receiver they're gonna be the guy the jump ball the outside threat for daniel jones to at least you know expand the field but this guy's not even getting in the game and there was a whole little controversy about him clearing out his locker after the game was over again i won't take into i won't take that too seriously unless you know there's really something about him being really like a cancer to the locker room or anything like that but whatever it's fine but if i were to tell you that the giants would be 2-0 and the leading receiver on the team would be richie james going into the season you would have thought i was crazy but that's the case right now richie james is leading the team in reception is the, the giants leading receiver is richie james <laughs> which is insane because it was a guy they brought in in camp and i you know 
for the most part, if he wasn't going to be the return specialist, I don't know if he'd make the squad. But he's been playing really solid for the Giants. Kadarius Tony got some more action this game. Had two receptions, but only netted about zero yards. He didn't have a drop, and he did have that one catch that got called back because of that stupid offensive pen, offensive uh, pass interference call. And that might have gone for a score, honestly. He had a lot of room. He made a nice move after the catch. Like, it was, was going to be a good catch regardless, but... Um, you know, it, it's good to see KT still getting more snaps. You see after the game, he hugged Daniel Jones. Uh, he's If we're winning, I think KT is good, and I love Kadarius Tony. hope he does well. I hope he continues to progress throughout the season. Again, I love the defense. Xavier McKinney played all over the defensive side of the ball this past game. You saw a lot of three safety, even four safety sets. A lot of DBs playing a lot. Uh, we, lose, we lose Leonard Williams and Wink Martindale still able to adjust. I love I love the way the defense is playing, and that's again without our two best pass rushers. So, again, this has been so far. It's been a good first two games. You the only knock I really have on the game is again the the sputtering of the offense side of the ball. Again, that probably has to do with a lot of our pass protection. But again, Daniel Jones just didn't seem that that comfortable uh, at times. He almost had that one throw, that almost near pick, and if the Panthers. DB didn't drop the ball. Lugo, I think, was it was. If he didn't drop the ball, it would have been a super bad pick. And I'm sure there'd be a lot of boos coming from the Giants Stadium. So, again, not the best, not the best game for Daniel Jones, but he got the W, and that's all we can really care about. But this team is playing hard. I again, what Dayball is doing as far as coaching these guys up is exactly what you'd expect. And these are games that we would not be winning if we had Joe Judge still at the helm. These are not games we'd be winning um, if we saw it. Dave Gettleman overseeing a lot of the stuff. This team really seems like it's having a real true culture change. And after two weeks, you can kind of you can already start to see that. Because again, these are these are close wins which we are not winning the last few years. These are close wins we're not winning the past few years. One other thing I'd like to say, um, keep this kind of a short video. One thing I'd like to say is that Andrew Thomas, a guy that a lot of pundits when he first got drafted said that he was gonna be a bust. People thought he was the uh, the worst tackle in that class as far as the first round goes. This man is currently the league. He is leading all tackles in PFF rating for the season so far. He is having an amazing year, and he's probably the Giants' most important offensive player. And I love the fact that Andrew Thomas is going to be our left tackle for years to come. It is amazing what he's done so far, and it would be crazy to think about what this team would be like without Andrew Thomas at the left tackle position. So, shout out to Andrew Thomas again. I'd love to see this offensive line gel more. I'd love to see Evan Neal play a little bit better. I didn't get a chance to watch it. Of course, when Talking Giants drops their uh, film review video of the O-line, I'll definitely uh, see what Evan Neal did well, what he didn't do so well, what he can improve on. But Andrew Thomas has been a stud so far, and I hope, uh, depending on how this team does throughout the season, I hope he gets recognition either with the Pro Bowl or even All-Pro if he keeps playing at this high level. So that's really about it. Again, Daniel Dan Bellinger got his first catch and touchdown as a rookie tight end. So a lot of a lot of plays for the young guys. Like I said, Dane Bellinger earlier, uh, you saw Cordo Flock get in there, even though he got burned for a touchdown. He didn't play particularly well, but you love seeing the young guys that we get that we just drafted this year, uh, Joe Shane's guys get uh, snaps and get on the field and play some meaningful play time. So um, I love it. I love it. Um, let me know what your thoughts on the game were. Again, I'm going to the Cowboys game next weekend. That should be an amazing game. If Cooper Rush is still playing, that should definitely be uh, another win for the Giants to be 3-0. Can you imagine that? Giants 3-0? That is crazy. And doing it on Monday night to so the whole, the entire you know, national television so everyone can kind of see uh, what this Joe Shane and Dayball regime is going to do. It'll be amazing if the Giants can come away with a W. So let me know your thoughts on this game. Uh, let me know your thoughts on Daniel Jones, Kenny Galladay, Kadarius Toney. Uh, what your thoughts on the game were shout out again Graham Gano you savior I love you um, uh, comment down below what you thought what your thoughts on the Giants are this season so far if you like the video go ahead and leave a like comment down below subscribe to the channel if you're new and without further ado it's been your boy Ty Life deuces